How can we make levitation? That's the question for us. Uh, we can use something like aeroplane you know, or, or paper plane and use it for levitation, but it doesn't really levitate. It just moves, it flies, flies away. So it's not really true levitation. Uh, we can use something like, I don't know, the uh, superconductors, for example, but they are there is really low temperature for using this kind of levitation. So we can use uh, electromagnetic levitation. That's also uh, difficult because you can use only few materials for this kind of levitation. But we have one levitation here, which is acoustic levitation. Because today we are talking about vibration, sound and so on. So we can try we can use sound for levitation. So this is our device. Now there is a high frequency to our speaker and we can put it something, we can put something in the middle and it should, and it stay, it stands right there. So this little thing is levitating in the middle, there is no piece of string, anything, it's just, uh, just uh, one piece of styrofoam in the air. And now comes the question, how is it possible? Because this is not really, it's not something what you can find on the streets or on, on the bathroom, for example, I don't know. Uh, so we can use uh, some, uh, we can explain that, yeah. So sound is vibration, it's wave, and I need a hand or finger, David. If we have a wave, it's just uh, some kind of disturber, uh, this uh, disturbance of some field or matter. So if I push this piece of string or rubber, I create wave, and this wave travels from my direction to David. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. And there it uh, repel or, and travel in the other direction from David to me. And it's basically another source of waves. So if we com combine these waves, it's, we, we talk about interference, so we have some idea. So it creates some station waves, you can see it like that. Uh, but we can use something, wait here, wait. Uh, we can use something much more faster than my hand, like a jigsaw. I yeah, just pull it a little bit, yeah. And now we can see how our wave combine. There is the area with not there's like there are stable points of our vibration and there are also places where it's antinodes created where it where it vibrates the most so these two waves are combined and create some of these patterns okay thank you david it's nice nice of you but this was a transverse sound doesn't transfer like transfer wave. It is a uh, longitude wave. So this is how sound is created or how sound uh, looks like in the air. And especially this is a standing wave. So we can see the spots where the particles of sound doesn't move. It sticks in one place. And this is the place where our styrofoam ball can hold where it is. It is a node, a place where the node is. And there is a question for you, dear viewers. How many of these styrofoam balls we can put inside our levitator? You can make a guess and tell us what you think, how many. There is one, but we can put more of that. And Meanwhile, we can visualize our knot field. In this setup, the knots are 
are not really uh, points or lines, it's like whole areas. So we are going to create a steam or guess. Yeah, we can see the places where the gas is more concentrated. And this is the places where the knots are. You can see like the lines, and this is the place with the knots. So that's kind of a nice thing, I think. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful thing. It's charming, isn't it? It is, it is. I think it is charming. So, uh, do you have any guess uh, how many balls can we fit inside our... So we can try one. This one. So maybe 10, but nine was there stable. Now there is like six, six balls. And there's also one thing. It is in stable position. And even if we like turn it in 90 degrees, it's still in the stable position. So we can move it like we want and it just stays in this place. 